Morning students, back with me again in my English class. Today we're going to have some fun, we're going to learn something new. But first of all, I would like to check the attendance. Uh, class captain, who is absent today? No one. Great, yeah. Now uh, before we go further, let us pray. I will lead the prayer. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this morning. We are ready to study together because we are going to have fun and we are going to study something new. Bless all of us so that the information and the knowledge that we are going to learn will be useful in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Today, we're all going to learn about vocabulary of relationship. But first of all, we need to know what relationship means. By definition, a relationship is a connection between two or more than two people, especially when they talk to each other and behave with each other. So I have to say that a relationship is very important. Imagine if you have a broken relationship. It gets worse if you don't fix it. Look at there. I have an untied shoelace. Untied shoelace. Imagine if I keep walking with these untied shoelace, I might trip over and fall down, right? So, fix your broken relationship just like I tie my shoelace with style. Alright, let's jump into further details about vocabulary of relationship. I'm gonna get my mouse over here. There are six phrasal verbs that you're going to learn which are related to vocabulary of relationship today. Let's take a look at these phrasal verbs one by one. Alright, here's the first one. Get on with. You can see the picture over here. So when you get on with your friends, best buddies, or family members, you have a good relationship. It's like this. But I know sometimes you might have a problem with someone, so you might fall out with someone, maybe with your friends or family members. When you fall out with someone, you have an argument, you have a fight. It's like this. Some people, when they're confused, they're trying to get away from their problem, get away from their friends. But this is not a good solution, don't you think? Because they, they try to escape, escape reality. Yeah. I give you a solution. When you have a problem, in order to fix your broken relationship, you should talk it over. Talk it over means discuss the problem, try to find a solution. Like this. The next thing is, you know, sometimes your friends can cheer you up when you feel down. Cheer up means to give support, to make your day, to make you happy. But, sadly, probably some of your friends might get you down. Get down means feeling sad, of course. So when someone gets you down, you feel sad, just like this. Oh, I have a pet here. Hello, Pepe. What makes you sad? You look unhappy. What happens to you? Is everything okay? Did someone get you down? Don't worry, you'll be alright, okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem. You're welcome. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, it's gone. Okay, so we have six phrasal verbs that we have learned, and they all very useful, especially when we talk about relationship. But that's not all. We still have combinations of adjectives and prepositions. I want you to take a look at the next slide. Adjective plus preposition. Over here on the left side, there are six adjectives. And on the right side, there are six prepositions. But they are not in, in a good match. Yeah, they don't match properly. So I want you to work together with your pairs, partners, seatmates sitting next to you. So you can find the right or correct combinations 
for each. I'm gonna give you five minutes, all right? And then we're going to check the answers together. Good luck. All right, is everyone done? Have you found the combinations of these adjectives and prepositions? Yes, good. Let's find out together. I'll show you an animation so you can check your answers, all right? Here we go. So here's the first one. Good at it. We have anxious about when you're worried about something and then frightened of you're scared of something. Fed up means you're filled with anger. It's like having a SpongeBob, they're happy about something. And last but not least, I think it's like something bad, you know? Yeah. Yep, so we've got all uh, the adjectives and prepositions uh, to wrap things up. We have learned six phrasal verbs, yes, and also adjectives plus prepositions, and they are all related to vocabulary of relationship. Now, this morning, I'll give you a task. So, this is your writing composition task. So, today, yeah. I would like you to write a writing composition about your personal experience. Yeah, and it should be about uh, your relationship with your best friend. Yeah, you should write this down uh, by using phrasal verbs that we have learned and also the adjective and prepositions. Write about 100 words, and the deadline is this Friday, the 4th of November at 12 p.m. Okay, do you have any question? Yeah, Benny? You have questions? Yeah. No? Alright then, I'll ask Johnny. Johnny, so uh, what do you have to write for this writing composition? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yep, that's right. You have to write a personal experience about how your relationship is going on with your friends, best friends. Good. Alright, so don't forget about the deadline and I'll catch you up in the next lesson. We're going to end the lesson now. Let us pray together. I will lead the prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for today's lesson and we believe that the lessons that we have learned today will be useful, especially when we're talking about vocabulary of relationship. Now we're going to continue with our next lesson. Uh, give us your blessing so that we are ready to study for the next lesson. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, I'll see you next video. Bye bye.